Hi there, grade 12s, and uh, welcome to the second session on our CAT theory revision. Okay, remember this is specifically for the trial exams. So, um, as I look at last year's paper, this section is going to deal on uh, last year's question 6, 7, and 8. Okay, those are fairly short questions. If I look at it, um, they totaled around 30 marks. Sorry, 35 marks. And uh, a lot of them were simply concepts that we were dealing with. So, for example, the first one spoke about social media. Okay, now all of you are familiar with social media. <laughs> Some of you are too familiar with social media, but anyway. Um, and they asked about the advantages and disadvantages of social media. So, this is where you need to give realistic advantages. You know, things like you can connect with people. Um, distance is not an issue, you know, when you're chatting to people around the world, family members, etc. Some disadvantages, um, you know, you could mention the fact that you spend too much time on social media. And yes, you do. Okay. Some of you are sitting on social media in the toilet. Okay. Um, charging your phones and sitting on social media at the same time. So there are uh, advantages and disadvantages. Just understand the difference between the two. And just word it very simply and you'll get the marks. Then they also mention a term called information overload. So information overload is basically where you are, um, you've, you've got too much information heading your way. I mean, you're looking at social media, you're looking at um, news outlets, you're getting news feeds, um, you're getting emails, you're getting messages. So all of that coming through to you, that makes up what we call information overload. There's just too much heading your way. So just find a very simple way of explaining that they also mentioned another two terms which is plagiarism and, and copyright okay so there is a difference between the two now uh, when it comes to music for example if i create a piece of music and i have my legal name on it and all this type of thing you cannot go and copy it okay or take it and use it elsewhere why because that is my legal property okay same with the movies yeah, some of you that download these illegal movies, okay, or download it illegally, whatever the case may be, um, that is owned by someone else. Now, that's copyright. When we deal with plagiarism, this is when you are taking someone else's ideas. So somebody has said that, well, um, they see that the moon uh, is actually made up of cheese, for example, just something silly, okay. If you take that idea and pass it off as your own, that's plagiarism. So many of you, uh, unfortunately, end up doing this in assignments where you go to Google, you go to Wikipedia, have a look at things, and then what do you do? You copy and paste. You're taking someone else's idea and making it your own. So that's um, copyright and plagiarism. That's mostly in question six under the information management. Uh, social implications is just how does cat impact life socially so they brought up a term called byod yeah, not not byob byod right that's bring your own device so um, they mentioned it in terms of us bringing devices to school now <laughs> it's not always advisable to give um, learners the leeway to bring devices to school and then hook up to the school's wi-fi why because you're probably going to misuse it okay so they just want you to explain what it is. Uh, lastly, they also mentioned a term called ransomware. Okay, so this is basically software that, that hacks your computer and the person has total control over your PC and they'll usually send you an email to say, well, if you don't give them whatever they want, then they actually have the power to delete everything off your PC. So they are holding your PC, your information, whatever it is, for ransom um, and there was a real life example a couple of years ago guys um, did this with a company and they wanted bitcoins for it um, and i think they did get it so yeah it's uh, it just depends on how uh, sacred that information is to you then uh, speaking of bitcoin right they did mention last year they asked a question on cryptocurrency so number one you need to know what Bitcoin is, how it works, and what Bitcoin mining is. Those are the three terms. And again, you can have a look at the link below here. I'm going to display it 
Um, you can click on this one. This is going to take you to all the concepts where I explain all these various terms. Uh, and then lastly, they just mentioned fake news. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what fake news is, it's basically lies. So when they tell you that somebody died and it looks like it's a proper news report <laughs> and the person hasn't died, that's fake news. And then the last question that I'm going to deal with quickly is uh, they term it solution development. In other words, what they're saying to you is they're giving you a, a snapshot maybe of a spreadsheet of a database um, of any application and they'll ask you what is wrong with this picture. So for example, in Excel, they might have a picture, or maybe I have it here, where they show hashes in a particular cell. Now we know when that happens, what's the problem? The cell is too small for the content. Okay, so they'll give you that and ask you what is wrong. How do you solve it? How do you go about doing that? And that's your three questions. That's usually around questions six, seven, and eight. Um, and that you would look at around 30 to 35 marks. So again, if you know the concepts, it's easy um, to get these marks. Then lastly, the last two or three questions, usually um, question nine and 10, these are fairly long questions. And a lot of it will be based on a scenario. There will be a lot of concepts that are usually asked. So again, just a final reminder, if you haven't checked out the link below to the video that deals with me uh, going through all the relevant concepts that you need to understand, click on that, go and watch the video and get those concepts into your head. Once you understand those concepts, grade 12s, it's going to be easy for you to actually answer those questions and answer all the scenarios. Okay, so that's um, the recap. That's my uh, revision tips, things to look out for. Uh, remember again, as I mentioned at the beginning, go through the paper, do what you can, do what you know, then go back through the paper, do the things that you struggled with slightly and leave those tough ones for absolutely lost. So should you not be able to answer it, you don't miss out on the vital marks that you can get. So grade 12s, all the best and have a fantastic day.